The Favourite follows a friendship face-off for the affection of Queen Anne. The film has a really twisted ending and throughout this video I'll be breaking down everything you need to know from the closing scenes. There will of course be heavy spoilers, so if you want to go into the movie with fresh eyes then I highly suggest that you turn off now. For everyone else, I'm Definition and welcome to the channel where I ruin it so you don't have to. We watch as Lady Sarah and Abigail fight it out on the battlefield of friendship in order to become Queen Anne's favourite. After Abigail has had a fall from grace and now is impoverished and has to resort to working as a maid, we watch her rise through the ranks of social acceptance, all the while being stopped by the overzealous Sarah, played by Rachel Weisz. It's clear from the outset that Lady Sarah does the majority of the thinking for Anne and she pretty much controls her life and the power that comes with being a queen. It's clear that Anne, whilst royalty, has still had a pretty tough life and you can definitely see why she leaves the tougher decisions to someone else. Over the years, Anne has had and lost 17 children, so she now keeps 17 rabbits in their place. There also exists a war between France and England which Sarah's husband is involved in, but Anne pretty much has little interest in the conflict whatsoever. This is something that Lady Sarah relishes in, so naturally when Abigail looks like she could threaten this position, things do not bode well for her. It's easy to side with Abigail early on and she comes across as a kind-hearted woman with little more than good intentions. Emma Stone is perfect casting for this role with her big blue eyes and youthful exuberance and you can definitely see how someone would like her. Lady Sarah however immediately picks up on her more sinister side as Abigail bites people, poisons them and is all round a bad egg. Sarah tries to have her expelled but Anne refuses to and Anne expels the lady from the castle grounds instead. As Anne's health fails, Sarah wishes to make one more attempt to regain Anne's friendship and writes her a letter begging for her forgiveness. Abigail however intercepts this letter and burns it after seeing how eager the Queen was to receive some news from her former friend. Abigail lies to the Queen and tells her that she suspects that Sarah had been diverting money and this is believable as earlier in the film Sarah raised taxes in order to pay for the war effort. Anne banishes Sarah from the country and we never see her again. That doesn't mean everything is all well for Anne and Abigail now though and with the latter pretty much having full power we see her sick and sadistic side finally come to the forefront. Abigail brutally kills one of Anne's rabbits in a disgusting way and uses her heel to dig into it causing it to urinate and bleed heavily as it rides in pain. Anne witnesses this and calls Abigail to participate in a massage as they have done throughout the film. However Abigail is now cruel giving pain wherever possible and we see a vision of the rabbits hopping around during this scene. This symbolises the grief and unhappy reminder of how much Anne has lost and how much her life and choices will continue to haunt her till her dying day. She takes this out on Abigail's head as she massages her and an act that was once sensual and erotic becomes displeasurable like the relationship that the two are now trapped in. Abigail has been unmasked finally as the wicked woman she is, however she must also live in submission in order to not be banished much in the same way that Sarah was. This kind of confusing, submissive life is something that she always tried to move past, but she knows her place will forever be at the foot of the Queen and all of her desires. Abigail escaped one horrendous marriage only to end up in another and it's a beautifully twisted ending that shows you that absolute power corrupts absolutely. We know that Anne hasn't long left for this world either and with Sarah now replaced by Abigail she will deteriorate faster. Sarah was strict with Anne but she was being cruel to be kind. She stopped her from having sugar which seemed bad but it was to help her health. Under the eyes of Abigail she binges on cake, vomiting between bites and we really get the sense that just because you get something you want it does doesn't mean that it's good for you. This too is reflected in Abigail's quest and the film to me is about how getting everything our own way will destroy us to no end. So what are your thoughts on the film? Did you enjoy it and what did you take from the ending? Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and check out my breakdown of this week's other big royal film, A Christmas Prince 2. This is a channel for people who are mad into movies so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.